Hey at the Science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see why is your person acting weird lately. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Well, it came up a pride room reversal. I'll read it both ways. Your person's mad. Yep, they're mad about something. Okay, they're mad about... Could have something to do with okay a recent turn of events you may have had some sort of argument a confrontation an altercation a falling out or just something here look it might not even have been an argument you might have thought you know the two of you had a like a perfectly normal conversation but maybe something that was said um, they took it and they misconstrued or misunderstood what was said so I'm thinking you might have felt it you know they may and you might not have realized it again it's not like you know you said this maliciously or anything you might have just been making an innocent joke or used I don't know a different tone of voice when you said it but it feels like your person got hurt something you said or something you did hurt your person's feelings so instead also instead of talking to you about it they're growing distant the best thing you can do is call it out okay call them out on it let them know you know you know let them know that you notice they're not talking this morning or ask them simply what's wrong because i feel like they're purposely maybe staying silent or reducing the commu their communication because they want you to know they want you to know that something's wrong they want you to know that something is up it feels like they're kind of it's their way of trying to get your attention as well they could be feeling a bit okay the other thing is that i'm seeing is the person could be withdrawing into themselves as well because they may feel like things have been a little bit too intense lately like the connection is happening too fast and the two of you maybe have as a result you might have been arguing a lot or just not really getting on because you know, internally they're feeling a little scared, um, uneasy, a little anxious, and it's something that's troubling them. And in, like the two of you are not really talking about it, or you know, you're not really um, addressing it. And instead, it's projecting; it's coming out in different ways. They, they may have poor communication skills as well. I don't think that their feelings have changed for you. I don't think it's that. It could be, but I don't think it that it's that. It could also be that this person is stressed. And that could be the reason for them trying to distance themselves. It might not have anything to do with you personally, or it might. It could have something to do with work, family matters. could be money as well. That's come up here. Um... Do they have a new priority? For some of you, maybe they have a new priority and they don't know how to fit this into the schedule. Um, are you someone who is, they might be feeling a little bit smothered, okay? Just going back to the connection, becoming a little bit too intense or moving too fast. Maybe you're a little too intense for them. And... Maybe you're not too intense, but you're too intense for them. Um, and, you know, maybe you're someone who constantly wants, like, communication or 
just constant contact maybe that's too much for them and it's a little bit overwhelming and it's just a little bit much so instead of them telling you because they they're scared of how you might react they're also scared to offend you or push you away they're kind of just withdrawing into themselves it's bothering them but they're just kind of pulling back and they're hoping that you're going to notice The other thing is, I see that your person needs some time on their own. Um, I just think they need some time on their own maybe to process some of these thoughts or emotions that they've been having. Um, maybe they're going through some changes in life as well. So it could be other external factors that are affecting this person. And... Some of you are maybe going into full panic mode when it might not have anything to do with you. Yeah, I feel like this person is afraid of hurting you. That's what I see. This person is afraid of hurting you, so they're acting remote, weird, or distant. And here's the thing, because they not really telling you, they're not sharing with you what's going on, I mean, you've got no choice but to come up with all kinds of different scenarios to fill in the blank, right? It's just important that, and you're probably thinking worst case scenario, but it's important for you to notice that, or for you to understand that distance doesn't always mean this person is cheating, or that they've lost interest, or that they want to break up with you. You have to, you know what you have to do? You have to call them out. As I've said earlier, you have to notice that they're acting weird or different lately. And you have to tell them. You have to have that, com you know, have a conversation. Talk to your person. Get to the bottom of it. Not only is it going to ease your mind, but it can also bring some truth into the equation. Your person, I don't think they have an avoidant personality. They might, but I do feel like there's a bit of anxiousness in their personality as well. But maybe this is someone who tends to panic when things get really serious, which makes sense, especially if they feel like, you know, a little bit overwhelmed or suffocated. Yeah, that makes sense. And, you know, the avoidant type usually has this tendency or this brand of distancing behavior that includes silence or withdrawal they also have this pattern of getting close to someone and then pulling away so if you notice that pattern that's something you know this push or pull behavior if you recognize that and if you've seen that before that's saying something just know that it has not, nothing to do with you but more to do with this person do not try and push this person in any way because if your individual person if your energy your person here if they are someone who is an avoidant, that's just going to scare them off. They need to figure this out on their own. They're scared that the negative feelings they have, the fact that they're mad or upset, they're scared that that might, if you talk about things right now, it might potentially fuel the situation. Oh, look at that. I'm playing with the cards and then the Nine of Wands came out. Yes, they are scared that... If the two of you talk about what's bothering them, that it's going to fuel the situation and that it might potentially lead to a breakup um, or, you know, make things worse. Hey, I think it's important for you to uh, talk to your person. Talk to your person. Let them know that you've noticed they're acting strange or not themselves lately. Ask them what's going on. Because something is going on. But it might not have a lot to do with you. And it just feels like your person is afraid to come forward and let you know. Again, I do feel like they're either mad, they're upset or they're hurting. 
whether it is from something that was said or done recently or whether from the past he some sort of something has resurfaced for them but they are a little bit they are a little bit withdrawn right now okay a little scared a little anxious Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.